Hey guys, what's up? It's Kinsey and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a January favorites video. I really want to bring these back to my channel officially for this year because I'm back like product obsessed and trying out a bunch of new things. This is the stuff that I for sure have loved. I probably have more products that are coming next month that I haven't been trying out like as enough to put in a favorites video, but I've been loving. You know what I'm saying? I have everything on my iPad Pro, it's upside down which is very exciting. This is a favorite. This is literally the best thing that's ever happened to me. Absolutely. So anyways, if you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. I post a lot of lifestyle stuff. Stuff to my Instagram. I have a cool podcast. Check it out. Okay, we're gonna start off with like makeup, skincare, all that stuff, just because it's literally right in front of me. I have two Lush products. Guys, I love Lush. Also, I need my coffee. Um, I absolutely love Lush. There's this one product I use over winter break at my sister's place. That was incredible and it was like some argan body thing whatever i don't know i need to go pick it up and try it out and share it with you guys because it was the best thing ever okay the first thing that i have this is probably no surprise and i know i've mentioned this a billion times before but recently my skin i've been breaking out and then i've had like i don't want to say scarring but they just have stuck around for a while which is not very normal for me and i'm not a fan of that so i've been using the cup of coffee face and body mask if you guys have ever used this Oh my gosh, nothing smells better than this face mask. Like, if you put it on in the morning especially, the real trick here is you put it on and then you get into like a hot steaming shower and then you take it off that way and it's just like, I there's nothing like it. It leaves my skin so soft and it like exfoliates it so well and like everything is just absolutely gone. So to get rid of like weird breakouts that are sticking around, I've been using this and then I'll follow it up with this Dr. Dennis Gross Clinical grade IPL dark spot correcting serum. This serum is awesome. They sent it to me and I've been trying it out and I am like a huge, huge fan. But when I pair these two together and then I wake up the next morning, my skin looks amazing and it's like back to normal. So that's what I've been doing. Okay, so this product that I have is the Once Upon a Time Body Lotion. My friend Dom has like, I think two of these. She left one at my house and then I was using it and she's like, do you just want it? It's so cheap. And I was like, I mean, if you insist, but it smells so good. Like it's blue, smells amazing. I think this is only like 10 or $15 and you get a lot of product. So this body lotion has been amazing. It's really just like, it smells so good. It smells like almost, I don't even know how to describe it. it I was gonna say Starburst in like a good way, but that's not even it. It just smells really good. And it's very moisturizing and it's not too heavy, but it's not too light. And it doesn't leave your skin like oily. It just makes your skin feel like incredible. So, love that. Sticking on skincare. Okay, the BioClarity, like, green line. I've worked with them before, and I work with them on my podcast actually quite a bit. I love their stuff. Like, this morning, my, I woke up, and my skin looked amazing, and it's because I put this on before I went to bed. This is the Floralux Skin Smoothie. So, this stuff, if you struggle with redness, check them out. They have a whole line. There's a cleanser. Um, I guess this is a hydration, and there's, like, another, like, Floralux, like, green thing. I don't know why I'm blanking on the name right now, but really, really amazing stuff, really good for redness, and my skin, I woke up this morning and I was like, my skin, like, I looked better without makeup for sure, I don't, I just did this because I'm filming, but really good, love this stuff. Okay, I have a Murad Skin Perfecting Lotion. I do not know where I got this from, I just got it out of my PR box, so I'm sure it was set in, like, some sort of set a long time ago. I love this, it's a really good moisturizer, it's really lightweight and it's also oil free so it doesn't leave your skin like too oily and gross, it's amazing, I really like this, I just need, I'm out of all of my serums and my moisturizers so I've been trying out new stuff, but I need to like go back to Drunk Elephant and stuff because like, I miss it, you know, I really do, but that's a really good moisturizer. On to makeup, I only have three products, so I love this L'Oreal True Match Lumi Healthy Luminous, I always want to say voluminous, but it's luminous. Makeup, um, this is a really good foundation. I can only wear this when I'm like super self tan, so I'm not wearing it today. But it makes my skin look really dewy, really healthy. It's a drugstore foundation. I really like this. I just ran out of my It Cosmetics CC cream for the 17th time. Need to go buy a new one. That's my all time favorite thing, but that's also really good. Something different that I've been doing is I've been wearing blush. It's so crazy. So I have this Marc Jacobs blush. It's really pretty. It is in the shade. Kink and Kisses. Of course it's in the shade Kink and Kisses. Like, of course. But I love this. I have not worn blush really ever. And I'm a blush girl now. Like, it really... I think, like, Alexa Losi posted a photo and she was wearing blush. And it was, like, very, like, Victoria's Secret Angel inspired, like, natural, dewy, cute, fun makeup. And I was like, wait. So then I started doing my makeup like that. But now I'm out of all those products. And that was, like, the best I think it's ever looked. 
So I'm a big fan and blush has a lot to do with it. I was afraid of blush for a very long time. Maybe because my skin is kind of red, but now I'm not afraid and it's amazing. Big fan. This is a big, big step on my channel. I'm five years in and I bought my first Morphe palette. So I got this palette. Um, I had it like credit on an app and there was a Morphe palette and I was talking like literally in my Vlogmas vlogs. I think in every single one I mentioned somewhere that I'd have a Morphe palette. I don't know why it was just brought up a lot and I brought it up. I don't know why I did like it was just all the time. So I was like, I'm gonna shut myself up and buy one. This is the palette, which one is it? 35B, Stunning Vibes. Um, it's really pretty. I'm not really someone who's like, oh my gosh, look at that palette, it's so pretty, because I just use like the same like three um eyeshadows. But my friends have been using it too. It's a very pigmented. Morphe palettes are so cheap. Like I cannot believe this is my first one. So I actually really do like this. I've not really been wearing I don't really wear like eyeshadow unless it's like bronzer that I'm just like throwing over my eyes really quickly that I just use on my face. Like it's not like it's like that serious. But I wore it last night and I really liked it. I just, I don't know. There's a lot you can do and it's about time that I picked up one of these. Okay, on to like accessories and stuff. You guys know this necklace and these two rings from the M Jewelers. I bought them over a winter break. I wore them every single day since. I'm absolutely obsessed with them. The one thing is, like, so each piece is $100, and then they had, I don't know if they have it still, but they had a 40% off sale for, like, literally an entire month, and they kept saying it was an in, and then it just kept happening. So I was like, this is amazing. So I got these. These look way nicer than just, like, $100 rings. The one thing I will say is that, like, one, like, two of my, like, ju like, what, whatever this is, not diamonds, have fallen out or one of them, which is annoying. But I wear it all the time and I like, I do like, I feel like that's probably why because they brush up against each other. But yeah, so I got all three of these pieces for 60 because they always have a sale, but I will have them linked down below because people have been asking me about them all the time and I am absolutely obsessed with them. Like it is literally my favorite thing that I've ever owned and I want everything from them. Like I literally want every single thing they own. Like I have like four rings that are on like my like, okay, I'm gonna wanna buy them. They're incredible. So I'm a big fan. Um, it's like really nice looking jewelry for like a very affordable price and it's really cute. So, and I also get so many compliments on them and they're just awesome. Okay, next thing. I've talked about this so many times, but you guys know that I've worked scrunchies like not so like it, It's taking every, like I'm gonna pull my hair back. It's taking everything in me to like not pull it back. But I wear scrunchies and hoops and jewelry and crew necks pretty much every single day. Um, but I just love scrunchies. They're super fun. They're just like cool to add to like a bun. I don't know. I have so many and I only want more, but I really like like bigger ones. I've realized like I have a lot of like the velvet ones, but from Urban, but those are a little bit smaller. I don't know where this one's from. I can't remember, but I like how this one is like bigger. So been loving scrunchies. Really big thing in my wardrobe lately. Okay. Last accessory that I have. You guys are going to not be surprised in the slightest, but it is my Rebecca Minkoff bag. I love this bag. I literally, I walked into Nordstrom, like I was leaving the mall at North Park and I walked into Nordstrom and I saw this bag and like literally within 30 seconds I bought it. I was like, absolutely yes, that's, this is happening. They have a light pink one too and I'm glad I got the silver because it like matches and it looks so good with my jewelry and like everything that I wear. The pink one was really fun. I was kind of like, is this like really ugly and tacky? But like that's kind of like why I like it, you know? It's just really fun. It's the perfect size bag. I absolutely love chains on bags, like that's definitely my favorite strap, um, but I've been wearing it, like I'll wear it on like one shoulder a lot, and then lately I've been wearing it as like a crossbody, and it's still super cute, I just love this bag, if you guys want a what's in my bag video with this, let me know, but like seriously, this is probably my favorite bag I've ever owned, and I've owned like expensive designer bags, and I still like this one, I'm telling you guys, it's like, for some reason, it's like the mid-range bags that are fun are the ones that I'm obsessed with, and I think that they're so cute. I wore like all Marc Jacobs last year. I don't even wear my nicer, like I need to go, I, whatever. But I'm obsessed with this, it's the cutest bag ever, and it's just like the perfect, perfect size, and I want more in every single color. I was thinking about this, how cool would this bag be if it was like dark green velvet? That would be awesome. So I need them to come out with new colors, and I also need every single one of them. So it's amazing. Okay, I have a pair of sneakers. These are my Adidas Falcons. I also bought these randomly, like I saw them in the store and I was like, absolutely, I'm gonna buy them. And I have worn them so much. I always do this with shoes though. I'll get a new pair of shoes and then I wear them like every single day. Like my feelers, I don't even wanna look at those ever again. Like literally, I don't, I was thinking about them. I'm like, I don't think I'll put them on my body ever again because I wore them. I definitely have never worn a shoe more than I wore those like feel white sneakers. But I love them. I just love sneakers in general. If I could spend $17,000 on clothes, it would be on sneakers and bags. 
So I love these. These are only $100 and they're like the perfect neutral everyday shoe. Love them. Best shoe ever. Very comfortable. They look good with everything. I love the look. Really into these. So you guys check them out because they're like the best shoes literally ever. Okay, so like this shoe that I'm going to show in this video, it's like pretty unfair because I literally only wore them one night and it was last night. But they are awesome. They've been in my closet for probably two years. I just forgot that I even had them. And I went to an event last night and then I like threw them on because I, I think I, I don't even remember. I was like, oh yeah, I'll just wear them. No, they are so cool. I do not remember where they're from, so that's not going to help you at all. But it's just this chunky black over the knee boot. And I love how it has like a chunky heel because it makes it so much easier to walk in and they're way more comfortable. They are so comfortable. They look so good. Like I'm wearing them from now on. Like I'm, I'm wearing them. I don't know when I'm wearing them, but I'm wearing them and they're really cute. And I cannot believe it's taking me this long to wear those when they've been sitting in my closet for so long. I'm obsessed with them. They're the cutest thing ever. Okay, on to clothing. So this, um, and these are actually pajamas. These are my pajamas that I got on Christmas. You know, like everyone's family gets pajamas or whatever. So I got these. I picked them out though. Um, and it's just this Victoria's Secret like thermal pajama set. If you guys know me, you know that I'm obsessed, obsessed, obsessed with pajama sets. Like I sleep in a matching pajama set every single night. Like I, I'm that person. I have like the silk ones, the cotton ones, like a lot of them. And I normally have Victoria's Secret ones. Like that's actually pretty much all I sleep in. But I love these thermal ones. They're super comfortable. Like they're just really warm and really comfortable. And I like, I want like 10 more of these. So I need to do that. But these are really cute. I love the look on them. People are always like, what is that? What is that? But it's a V and an S for Victoria's Secret. Like it's not that hard to understand, but really cute. Big, big fan. Okay. This is just kind of an overall look, but something I've been wearing a lot lately is like Crudex turn inside out. I've been wearing a black one more often than not. And then I also have this gray one. I don't know why, I just like the look of it. And then again, I literally will wear it with like a necklace, all my jewelry, scrunchies. Like it's just, the, it's the look lately, guys. Um, and my Adidas Falcons and some sweats. It's perfect for class because it's still like cute. It's not like I'm like a slob showing up in like what I slept in. You know what I'm saying? But it's like really, really comfortable. So I've been loving that. I just have been trying to get a bunch of like crew necks inside out. Something that I kind of rediscovered in my closet this sweater is from Urban. I bought it a year ago. It is so, so soft. It's a cream sweater. I love it. It just looks so cute with everything and I stopped wearing it. I don't really know why. I just wear things out and then I'm like over it. But this is just like such a good staple to have. It's from the Urban Outfitters line and I have it in a size large. But like even like Dom, who literally, like Dom's style is very cool and like fun. It's not like, this is like to me like church mom you know what i'm saying but i love this and she was like i love that and wore it so it's like it's cool i love this it's like the best sweater ever the last for clothing okay overall i have been loving puffer jackets and this jacket it's from revolve it's the infamous jacket that everyone has been trying to get the link from or for we can't find it anywhere online it's from the brand for lovers and friends right yeah yeah it is and it's from revolve i got it Pro, like this summer at some point randomly I saw it and I was like I'm obsessed with that they have other colors and they have similar ones I just cannot find this exact piece so I'll have similar ones like down below and like cheaper ones as well but this jacket is so freaking cute this is another case of something that I'm like really wearing way too much so I stopped wearing it but it's adorable like this is just like my favorite jacket I've ever owned it's just the coolest thing like wow have you do you guys see this it's incredible now on to my miscellaneous faves We'll start with songs. So the songs are very different from each other. There's only two. The first one is Truth Hurts by Lizzo. Do you, I don't know if I think that's how you say her name. I, if not, that's embarrassing. Lizzo? Lizzo. I'm sorry. She's awesome. She's actually performing at Coachella, but Truth Hurts. Do yourself a favor and listen to it. It is the funniest song you'll ever hear. Like when my friends and I are all in the car, like it's all the girls, we listen to it all the time. Like it's like, just like, it's so funny. It is literally so funny and it puts you in the best mood. My next song is Whole Heart by Hillsong. Great song. Very different from Truth Hurts. Love that song. Been listening to that non-stop. Also, their like branding on Spotify is amazing right now. Like it's just so cool. On to my like real miscellaneous favorites. My first is my iPad Pro. Guys, my iPad Pro, this is my case that I have for it. I have the pin and then this, I have this case. Um, and it comes with a keyboard. This was $30 on Amazon and the ones from the Apple store were like $200 
And I was going to buy the one from the Apple store, but then I went on Amazon because I like needed to order it online. And the one that was $30 had better reviews and everyone's like, I returned my Apple one for this one. I like it. Um, I like really just want like a sleeve that's like easy and I don't have to always use a keyboard. But it is so nice. The iPad Pro as a whole, my favorite thing ever. I love it, guys. Like, you know, okay, for so long I was trying to remember the like Disney Channel movie where the girl has like the, like it's literally an iPad Pro, but she has like the digital notebook and it's like really cute and she like writes on it and whatever and if something happens, whatever. It's Read It and Weep. I finally figured it out. So I'm officially the girl from Read It and Weep, but absolutely love this. If you guys are interested or like looking into getting an iPad Pro, get it, get the pen, get everything with it, it's worth it. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me to do videos on my iPad Pro, but like what do you guys want to see? I now plan digitally, it's crazy. My Passion Planner has finally been put to rest. Still love the Passion Planner so much, but for me, it just works so much better right now if I do like Google Calendar, which it's been working out. I've been doing it for about a month and I'm a big fan still. So we'll see how that works. I still have to figure some things out. And then I've been using the GoodNotes app. That's like the best app for notes. I literally use it for everything, like all the time. So if you guys want like an in-depth video, let me know. But like, let me know like specifically what you want to see because I don't really know what to do. With that. Um, for books, this book, When God Doesn't Fix It by Laura Story, so good. I read it on my iPad actually in like one day. It is one of the best books I've ever read. Give it a look, give it a read, whatever, read it, really good. Okay, also this month, cold brew. Yes, I am drinking, I have been on the Daniel Fast and I am drinking coffee, like my church drinks coffee on the Daniel Fast, like we're not against that. Fight me in the comments, I don't really care. But. Anyways, my favorite coffee ever is from Blue Bottle. It is the New Orleans with oat milk. There is nothing in this world, like there will never be a drink that I love more than my New Orleans with oat milk. It is the best coffee. It just tastes so good. Puts me in such a good mood. I love Blue Bottle. I love it more than Alfred. I know it's so crazy, but I also love Alfred. Like Alfred's like a close second. But it's just because my New Orleans with oat milk is so good. So if you guys have Blue Bottle near you, or you come to LA or like somewhere that has Blue Bottle, I think they have Blue Bottle elsewhere, do they? I don't know. But so, so good. My favorite thing ever. But overall, just cold brew because I have been on the Daniel Fast lately. So I've been like really tired and needing coffee. My last favorite is John and Vinny's. We started our John and Vinny's tradition this month. So I guess it's not a tradition yet, but we've already made it one because it's going to be a tradition. My first time going to John and Vinny's, it was a magical experience. Absolutely love it. They just opened up a new one in Brentwood. They have one in West Hollywood, which is like where I go to school and church and all my friends live. I don't live there, but it's like pretty cool. It's not far from me. Amazing. Big fan of John and Benny's. Absolutely love that place. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know what else you guys want to see in my favorites videos. Check out my Instagram, subscribe, check out the vlogs. I love you guys so much and I'll see you soon. Bye.